Hearts and then came down the outside is Shower Heart from Miss Penny Money. Chong Tong trying to work into the clear on the other side now. And North Boys raced up to Prince Rubiton and Rubitano and then Sadurka trying to get into the clear on the grandstand. Shower Heart has hit the front with Mystic Desert Sky. Chong Tong's in the clear. He's coming with his run. And on the far side, it's Rubitano just in front. Mystic on the outside with Chong Tong and North Boy, but Rubitano might have got it on the inside. They're right across the track, they're wide apart. Dijic in a real blanket finish to the new market handicap. Rubitano has staved off five other horses in a six-way photo finish. Hilo coming around them on the outside as they swing around the corner now and sail away, pulled away from the fence. The leader into the straight, Yangtze. Tobin Bronze has tackled him from Zingali, Prince Grant. Here's Zima getting through with Midlanders. Sail away under the whip. And then Prince Camilo and Red William. At the two, it's Yangtze in front, tackled by Tobin Bronze. Here comes Zima and Light Fingers on the outside, joining in from Midlander and Prince Grant. A furlong and a half to go, and Zima's hit the front. Light Fingers under the whip, trying to run him down from Yangtze, Midlander, and then Tobin Bronze and Prince Grant. It's Zima in front. Light Fingers throwing out a desperate challenge. Zima about a neck in front, Light Fingers pegging him back, Light Fingers goes to Zima, they hit the line, locked together, dead heat, a dead heat in the Melbourne Cup, Zima and Light Fingers. Uh, behind them was Midlander from Yangtze. Winesman raced up and joined Might and Power, the brothers Cassidy turn around the bend together, they lead from Yobro, third entering the straight, Grandmasters coming home along the inside from Sapio, here comes Doremus with a run, Arabian Story is next and then Viali, Might and Power shook off Linesman though, at the 300 he raced out by two lengths with Doremus challenging, Ebony Groves getting a rails run followed by Grandmaster and Markham, Might and Power the leader inside the 200, two lengths in front of Linesman and then Doremus on the outside, Might and Power the leader, Doremus Trying hardest coming at him. Might and Power and Doremus. Doremus getting the Might and Power. They hit the line photo. Oh, nothing between them. Doremus or Might and Power in a close go. Linesman Greg Hall has swung the whip in the air. He thinks he's won. In behind these, the numbers are in the frame. Number three, Might and Power has held on to win the Melbourne Cup. By a nose from Doremus. Oh, Greg Hall will be the most shattered man on the course. He thought he'd won. He was wielding the whip wildly as he went past the line but might and powers lasted it he's made at the double Ortiz putting in his run boundless hit the lead at the 400 meters view dash to the front now view raced away from them from moatees here's profound beauty running home Bowers coming down the outside and sailor gear viewed is clear though 200 meters to go bower ran to second sailor gear coming home hard viewed in front Bowers a big danger viewed by a neck Bowers getting there viewed holding on bower dives view to nose the bower i think has Bart done it, or has Bauer grabbed him on the post? It's desperately close. Viewed got to the lead a long way from home. Bauer was making ground with every stride on the outside, and it's a photo. Here's the number. Viewed has got it by a nose. Bart has done it. Bart has won the Melbourne Cup for the 12th time. He's won his 250th Group 1. With 300 metres to go now, Precedence hit the lead, but Managar challenges strongly. Lucas Cranach, and getting up on the inside, lost in the moment for the challenge. Here's Rick Cano starting to press home on the outside now. Lucas Cranach hit the lead. Rick Cano coming down the outside. Dunedin is coming through in the middle. Dunedin, Rick Cano, and Lucas Cranach. Dunedin is coming hard. Dunedin, Rick Cano. Dunedin and Rick Cano, they hit the line. A photo finish between Dunedin and Rick Cano. Nothing in it. Third placing Lucas Cranach, I'd say, from American. What a finish. A photo finish in the Melbourne Cup. It's between Dunedin on the inside and Red Cano. It's too close to call. The judge needs the photo finish. The Cup's going international, but just where? We've never had a dead heat for first in a Melbourne Cup. And the judge will be doing very well if he can separate them. Number three is the winner. Number three, Dunedin, Christophe Lemaire. Number three, Dunedin. This is the closest margin in Melbourne Cup history. If you thought Gude and Bauer was close, have a look at this one. The great race has turned on one of the closest finishes ever.